This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shake your body. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross the Nice check. One, two. Turn, turn my headphones up. One, two, one, two. Mm. Feel like I'm about to perform up in here, Ether B. I like that. Yeah, uh, man, we got uh, we're, we're in our, our live. There we go. Go ahead, test it out, Paul. Test it out. I work. That's there. It is. That's the legendary Prince Paul, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. He's here. Yeah. Hey, look. Yeah. When I come in late, I come in ready. That's right, my man. Oh, did you hear them keys? He knew. He knew. He knew his cue right there. That's that's the legendary Don Newkirk, oh, ladies yo, and yo, gentlemen. Yeah. He's here. Up this in the spot. Yes. Throwing it back. Throwing it way back. Way back and bringing it right up into the future, baby. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all the way into that. These two guys right here, uh, 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 legendary hip hop icons right here, Prince Paul and Don Newkirk. They, Absolutely. They've Appreciate been working it. together since probably, what, high school? Yeah. yeah. Junior, yeah. High. Junior, junior high. Junior high. Was it junior high? high? Oh, yeah. Junior high, they came together, you know. you know, Don at one point was considered the hip hop prince. Oh. Like Prince. I never said it. No, but but the industry said it. You were working with Def Jam back in the day, yeah, yeah. Uh, years ago, and yeah. um, they that's how they positioned him, like yeah. as Prince, as the artist Prince. This is who he was and is to hip hop because he brought that funk. Word. Right. And then, right. And, 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 <laughs> did you two meet in a? How did y'all meet? Was it junior high? Junior high. Junior yeah. high school. I I like to consider myself the best DJ in Amityville High School circuit Word. early. Mid early '80s, he came in from the Bronx. I was the best DJ. I thought from the Bronx. Yeah, uh-huh. he, he comes in with a smirk on his face. Yo, I'm from the Bronx. Uh-huh. You'll catch a soft out here in Long Island. Who's this sucker <laughs> DJ named DJ Paul? And that was you. And that was me. me. <laughs> Cause I had the plain name. Cause he didn't have the Prince yet. Yeah, okay. You know, so yeah. from the Bronx, you had Grandmaster Flash. Right. You know, Grand Wizard Theater. I said DJ Paul. That's so regular. Yeah. <laughs> and, my, and my man, my man in the school, Charlie Bull. Shout out to Charles Lane. He was like, Nah, son. Son is the illest out here. I was like, what? Let me find out. And he came to the crib, and we had like an impromptu friendly battle, and he was nice. He was nice with his. Paul I was nice. nice. I was Friends like, ever since, man. I was yeah. like, yo, that's a tie. All right. And then yeah, we just moved on. Yeah, from moved there. on from there. Yeah. So as a collect, like collaborative, as a collaborative effort, was that Sasonic? The fr- what was the first thing y'all did? Soul Brothers. Soul Brothers. Oh, Soul Brothers. Yeah, I, it was our man Mike Tulux, his mm-hmm. brother Ray, yeah, Sugar, Sugar Ray, Ray. and was, that was us. And then, supposed to be here today, by the way. And then after that, my our man Mike kind of was down, but kind of not down, and Ray Word. was kind of down, not down. I met Stetsa Sonic in high school, uh-huh. and I took it from there, and then. Uh-huh. After that, I, I made it. I made it a point that I always hired my friends, and he's a dude. Like anything ever came up, he, I always, you know, it was my man. You know, what I'm saying Paul I look got out. My deal with Def Jam, by the way. People I didn't don't know that, that. he oh, walked wow. the deal in. Yeah, because he he was coming to the crib, and he was hearing me in the basement. You know, my reclusive self. I'm still the same way, making music in the basement, letting nobody hear it. And he came in, was like, "Yo, it's kind of fly, man." He's like, "Let me get that demo." And then I think you had De La by then or whatever. Yeah, I gave it to Russell. And he was like, yo, give me six months. I'm going to come back and get you a deal. I was like, nah, I I wasn't thinking about a deal. And pretty much six months to the day, he knocked on my door and was like, yo, Russell Simmons wants to meet you. I was like, what? I got to cut my jerry curl. (laughs) 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 And I did. You cut the curl. That was the first Oh, immediately. I was like, I'm not going to Def Jam with a jerry curl. You crazy? (laughs) Cut my joint off, got the fade. Wow. That's when the industry liked me. That's when it, they, <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it goes, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, they like I got it. juice. Yeah. yeah. I don't got then juice. Then you don't got juice. And then, <laughs> then you work the your juice, juice back up. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you don't, you don't go to that juice no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. trust me, man. We, we've been through yeah. it. Ain't that right, Have a B? If, if you've been hitting long enough in the industry, you've yeah. had that. Yeah. You're fortunate and to have that. Wait till you get the juice and they hate you for having it. That's, <laughs> whole, that's a whole nother flip side we deal with here. Uh I like running up the history a little bit. Um, you mentioned De La Soul, uh, that's the Sonic, Grave Diggers, you know, uh, all the work you did with uh, Dan the Automator, good friend of mine. Oh, yeah. yeah we always yeah. talk about that. Um, and then for you guys to come together in 2016 and, and hook up with this Grammy Award winning artist that we have with us right now, Ladybug Mecca. Ladybug. Yeah. Ooh, hey, oh, oh. Hey, yes. Hey, Mama. Hey, hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing great, man. I've been hearing about uh, Diggable Planets um, being on tour. And that, mm-hmm. and that, you know, I was a fan of Diggable Planets. So mm-hmm. in the style, 
I kind of felt like Ish might have took my style a little bit, you know, back wow. in the day. That's how I was rocking in Cali. Okay. You know. I, I'm, I'm, is, is any proof? Nah, <laughs> I just that's what I'm. You need to go to the VHS. The proof is in the success. Right. Right. Okay, the proof okay. is in. I'm joking though. Right. But um, <laughs> how, how? First of all, good to see you again. Yes. Good um, to see you too. How, and how, you. And you. <laughs> how is the energy like performing Diggable Planet songs and you, you, you're performing in front of sold out audiences? What is that like? Wow. Um. Well. You know, first of all, we didn't know it was going to be sold out. In fact, like, I, I remember being backstage wondering, like, is anyone going to is anyone gonna come? Mm -hmm. You know, who's going to come? We're in, like, these towns like Nashville, and, you know, I don't expect it to sell out at all. But um, the energy inside was, it was just mind-blowing to me because the crowd was just fully present, and we were just all, just, it was just a big exchange of energy, like, the whole night, like, front to back. Mm -hmm. You know, and, um, you know, the age range, like we were talking about earlier, you know, from teenagers on up. And I mean, that, that, that's just a blessing, you know, yeah. yeah. especially two albums many, many years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. For them to even know. But, you know, I think and Paul, you might even be or, or Don, too. Um, I'm starting to hear this gener uh, the, uh, a wave of um, producers and artists that are experimenting with sounds and revisiting jazz and you know, different origins of um, music as a whole and combining it with new sounds today. And it seems like what Diggable Planets were doing then can fit in with what we're hearing right now. Mm. Okay. Definitely. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, sure. Maybe, maybe. I might have got real deep on that right there. All right. All right. Um, your original, so your family is from? Brazil. From Brazil. Yes. yes. Okay. The name of the group is called? Brookzill. Brookzill. And that's a combination of what? From Brooklyn to Brazil, baby. Okay. And Brazil, uh, uh, initially a lot of folks didn't know you were from Brazil, right, Ladybug Mecca? I didn't yeah, know. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I spoke about it in interviews, but, you know, it was always left out. That's always. It was a non-factor back then. It was a non-factor back, non back then. <laughs> and then this dude, Ryan Lochte, goes to the Olympics, and now it's. <laughs> <laughs> now we're all talking about Brazil. <laughs> talking about Brazil. Okay, so I wanted to bring um, in a Brazilian icon here. Um, he, for yeah. the hip-hop scene, he's represented Brazil from, from the 90s mm -hmm. to, if I'm not mistaken, the 90s mm -hmm. um, uh, until now. Uh, been a prominent figure as an artist, as a curator, as a promoter. Wow. Uh, the Mamelo sound system. Am I saying that correctly? Totally right, man. Totally right, right. Um, and he's also a part of the Brookzill Collective. Please welcome to the show, Rodrigo Brandeo. Oh, Thank you very much, He's man. the leader of the group. He's the leader of the group. Words. This guy's always love joking on me, man. Yeah, yeah, nah, man. <laughs> oh, no, no, we're serious. Oh, no, we're very serious. Also, the sex symbol of the group. Yeah. yeah. Hey. yeah I'm just an indigenous one. I'm surprised he didn't wear his briefs. Um, <laughs> you got to <laughs> him say his name for the people, though. Say your name, Car Car Rodrigo Brandão, a.k.a. Gorila Urbano. Laro Yeshu Mojubá. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> Rodrigo Brandão. Yeah, you know. Um, yeah, you said that. Let me, let me, I said, I'm, you know, if yeah. I hear it, I can say it correctly. I'm fascinated with Brazilian culture. Always have been. Thank you, man. Um, uh, it's roots with Africa, percussions, Yoruba, the, the whole nine. You know the thing, right? Yeah, I know the thing, you know. Um, Talk about the ties between hip hop, though. When did, you know, because it's to me, it's all a part of a big pot of collective. We, you know, media put these divisions and these categories on it, but what we were experiencing in the states, something was going on in Brazil as well, right? Definitely, man. Talk and you know, like the music, it's uh, it's been like that forever, right? I yeah. remember one day uh, seeing an artist chap interview where he says, like, you don't separate blues from jazz. Like, these words are just, you know, walls, and the music has no frontiers. Mm -hmm. And I would say the same, you know. If you go to a condom blast ceremony and you see, like, people incorporating the spirits, what you have is the tambour drums and the chants. Mm -hmm. And if you explain that to somebody... Doesn't that sound like hip hop to you? Yeah, oh. yeah, absolutely. that's what it is, man. Drums and chants, chants uh, and, yeah. right? And even the dance factor of it, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Talk about that as well. Like, uh, make the tie between b boy culture, break dancing, and in, 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 in Brazil. 
well, besides, you know, like the whole um, candle blast ceremony dance, mm -hmm. you also have the capoeira thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. That for those who don't know, it's a mix of dance and fight from like the early 20th century. Then uh, it came from Africa, but it definitely find, uh, uh, found a good place in, in African Brazil, no Bahia, Salvador, mm -hmm. all those places and developed from there because back then black people couldn't defend themselves. So they have to uh, bring that as a dance. Yeah. But, you know, like those skills were defensive skills, too. So you have the swag, you know, like what we call Jinga mm -hmm. in, in the capoeira. So you can dance and defend yourself and attack if it's necessary. Okay, let me ask you about, you know, I saw this movie City of God years ago. Right. You know, and it, and it, it talked about the social economical divide of Brazil. You have the haves and the have nots. Right. What is that system set up like now in, in, in Brazil for the most part? I know I'm saying Brazil, but uh, you could, you know, spe specify a city in Brazil. But well, you know. Um, early in the year, we had uh, Sly and Robbie performing yes. there, you know, mm -hmm. the legendary um, Jamaican players. Mm -hmm. And uh, the whole uh, impeach the president that I don't know if you guys heard about, but it, it's going on this week. It's yeah. like the first Brazilian lady that is a president, and she been doing it for the people, and um, old, rich, white money found a way to take her down. Wow. And uh, when this whole thing started being talking in, in, in early in the year, Sly and Robbie were there and the people were trying to explain to them what was going on. And they said, like, well, there's like these two po political parties. One of them, it's like totally against the people. And the other one, they did a little bit for the people, you know, like mm -hmm. they are not like like full, super cool, but they did something for the people. And um the totally against the people party wants to take them down. And, um, and Sly and Robbie, they were like, oh, right, right, just like in Jamaica, just, just like, like all over the world. world. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, you know, like I would say that what we've been facing there, it's like the, the third world style, which always, you know, like, like a raw style uh -huh. of what's going on all over the world, like the B-side of globalization. Okay. Mm. Um, the Brook Zill, that's the name of the group that is that are here. They got the new album, Throwback to the Future, that's um, available for pre-order now. It drops October the 7th. Real quick, Brian Lochte and what happened in the Olympics. Um, how much did that set back, or how, how did that impact the Brazilian people as you know it? Well, I was talking to my friends from Rio de Janeiro because I represent Sao Paulo. Mm -hmm. But I was talking to my friends in Rio de Janeiro, and they were like, I don't know if there's you know, like any city left after the Olympics. Because Rio's structure is a really, really like bad, in bad shape for uh, like a few years. Yeah. Like the whole country, but Rio de Janeiro is you know, like that expression of it. And what they say is like, besides the Christ, I don't know about anything that's <laughs> going to be you know, like up in this town after the whole Olympics thing. Wow. Wow. Okay, man. Thank you for giving us that insight, Rodrigo. Nice. Rodrigo. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Woo. All right. Thank you for the opportunity to say the truth of what's going on because Media Dad is trying to cover that. Mm. Well, that's media here. Well, media right here on this particular show is trying to unveil that. So that's why Thank I have y'all here. I mean, we could go a thousand ways, but because <laughs> Prince Paul was late, we only got so much time. Oh! So, oh! Oh, so we're going to go ahead and get you. Oh, I'm sorry, Paul. My bad, my bad, my bad. Paul. No, but, you, but you're, you're right, and, and, I, and I humbly uh, apologize, and, and I will come here for like one hour one day and, and clean up, like I'll do janitorial duties or whatever. <laughs> nah, it takes make up you, you for come that. For, we've come for an hour, we just go over all the music. There it is. <laughs> from then from from then to now. He could do beats for the cypher. He could do beats for the cypher. The Friday mm. cypher. Hey, you know what? Whatever it takes. And, and I'm glad that we're documenting this. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, so I was hoping this this album is really interesting. And even listening to the sounds, um, and you can hear all the different influences on the music from just from all over the world in different eras. And, and this fusion sounds. It's something that you put on and you listen to from beginning to end. And, uh, man, I hope y'all could maybe do a couple of the singles for us. Maybe yeah. Mad Dog and yeah. Europe. Or, is that, or do y'all already got something planned? Oh, oh, well, can we premiere, like, world premiere one track for you? Absolutely. Oh, wow. nice. Absolutely. We're in the world premieres here. Yes. Uh, What's the name of it? You got to say it. Exclusive. Raise the flag. It's the flag for our country, the Brookzill country. Brookzill. Zoo. Brookzill. 
Sway in the morning, shade four five. We all the way live. Out from the roadblocks, come catch us in the sun. Souls of the now, we rising, searching for the right tone. Bow to the drums, we, yes, we won on the up. Souls of the past is rising. Together we change your face up. Oh, put your hands up, people, put your hands up. Now put your hands up, people, put your hands up. And raise the flag, raise the flag, raise the flag. Yo, raise the flag, raise the flag, raise the flag, raise the flag. Come on, raise the flag, raise the flag, raise the flag, raise the flag. Just raise the flag. We spit spirit over bar seat, Brooklyn to Mars. We throw back to the future. Salute the moon and stars and spark up the cars. We call them because we want ya. Greet the green and the red, yes, yellow and the blue. Let's get Stella and Pat Valel's new. Brookzill salute you and you and you now what you gonna do oh, put your hands up people put your hands up mm. right. put your hands up people put your hands up raise the flag come on raise the flag we gonna raise the flag we raise the flag raise the flag uh-huh. raise the flag we gonna raise the flag we gonna raise the flag raise the flag one word raise the flag we gonna raise the flag 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 yeah. yeah, 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 Brookzill, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Back to the future. October 7th, 888-742-3345. Y'all going to do something else for me, sis? Is that, can yeah. Do something? yeah. Let's do the yeah. single. Let's do South Dodge, Jay. Yeah, let's, yeah. Well, let's, let's do, do the first well, single. Let's do the right. first single. We'll take your yeah. phone calls. DB, help me out on the phone calls. We locked. You ready? Let's yeah. go. Yep. Yeah, stand up, y'all. Yeah, they gonna stand up for this. You can move the mics out the way, you know. Sway in the morning, shade four five, Brookville. John Newkirk, what up, baby? Yeah. Prince Paul, what up, baby? Hey. Oi le le le, oi pela moji girls. Oi le le le, oi pela moji girls. Pela moji girls, we must be G. Pela moji girls, we must be G. Back to the essence, no need to question. Say melancholy of resurrection. resurrection. Entrada in intro, now grip the halo. This is the glory, you never end the story. Ashe baba, hotep seneb. Amen ya mine, yo canto jo sign. Ashe baba, hotep seneb. Amen ya mine, yo canto jo sign. Vamos dançar, celebrar no respeito. No need for sorrow, in mirrors I see you. Entrada in intro, all praises do. My praise to you, now begin life for new. Dessa vez eu venho celebrar os mortos Aqueles que partiram daqui pra outros portos A paz os tortos, sim, mas sem Jamais porém tratar com desdém A missão de manter a memória dos camarada Viva pra história, sempre ser lembrada E que cada geração nova que vem Saiba valorizar bem, garra, espalha, né? ODB B.I.G. Uh-huh. DJ Primo, Speed Freak. Uh. MCA, J.D. Ache. Chico Sai, Sabotage. Oh, Right, and I'm the ever late one, Prince Paul. <laughs> yeah. And I'm the always on time, Sway Calloway. <laughs> Sway! Oh, just rub that in. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey. Brooks Hill, ladies and gentlemen. Brooks Hill, Sway in the morning, Shade 4 5. A few more minutes, man. I, I, I got to. How, how? This collaboration right here is just um, it's endless of possibilities. How did this happen? Like. Mm. What happened? I oh, read some man. things, but it, yeah. what really happened? And, it, it, and, and, and secondly, 
has this helped you? Have you always been in touch with your Brazilian roots or has this opened some new chambers for you? I've always been in touch, but yes, of course, it, it opened a lot. Um, it enabled me to go to Brazil, write the project, uh, write the project and see family that I haven't seen since I was 10. Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, a whole a whole lot of stuff has opened up for me. You know, all okay. good things. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Rodrigo, see, is it he, is. Is he the, ah, you got it. Is hey. he really the man in Brazil? Like when you go down there, do they just like open up taxi doors for you and everything? Oh yes, that's Definitely. the guy. He's the guy. And the dogs well, on well, top. Humbly, humbly, there it is. Though. Okay, yes. humbly. Okay, cool. Uh, Prince, Prince Paul, Don, how did? What did you get moved? Did y'all go down there and go, man? Something touched the spirit, touched you, or what? What happened? Yeah, I mean, for me, it was a trip. Man, it was ten years ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. Um, to Sao Paulo with a good friend of ours, Scotty Hart, who's Scotty actually Hart. engineered Grave Diggers, yeah. De La Soul. He's my man, 50 grand. Yeah. So he, uh, hey, let's go down there. I went down there to spend first time, and that's when I met Rodrigo. And yeah. Scotty worked with Rodrigo as well. And me and Rodrigo just got along really, really well. And I was like, yo, we need to make a record together. And he's like, yeah? I was like, yeah, all right. Next thing you know, he's up in Long Island. Wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, he's, he's really about it. Yeah. And like I said, we just clicked. And from that point on, we just started the put like this. We at least made 10 skeletons of songs, or maybe 12, like in four hours. Okay. That's, that's wow. how we were flowing, like that. And from that point, just through conversation, you know, Lady Bug Mecca came in, in the conversation. He, I worked with her with this uh, project called The Dino Five, which yeah, is a children's record. Uh-huh. Um, they met. They clicked. He's like, oh, my God, we got to have her in the, in the group. Oh, blah, blah. He was, like, really excited. From that point on, as I told you, as I stated earlier, yes. whatever I'm down with, you can <laughs> check almost every record I've made. This man has always been there. And, I, you know, I asked yeah, him. Beautiful. I was like, yo. Got put him down. He's like, Newkirk, bring the funk. There it is. And he, and he brought it. Um, yeah. And then, Rodrigo, I, I can imagine for you being able to work with, you know, these hip-hop legends from the States. You know, what did that mean to you, man? Man, let, let me put it like this. Uh, if I tell you that it's like a dream come true, I would be lying because like my dream was just watch the shows you know like i I couldn't even picture myself in the same room as these people like uh especially like you know like exchanging like really really like you know like from from chakra to chakra yes from Mm. chakra to chakra Chakra to chakra that's gotta Mm. be the name of the next album brazil from chakra to chakra (laughs) okay we're we're facing a lot of uh i'm just curious to how hip-hop you know, when in 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 the states, you you're starting to see when we when we were coming up. You know, we always had a a, a level of social consciousness in the music that we were listening to, whether it was P.E. or whether it was even De La Soul. Yeah, right. You know, um, um, and it goes further back than that. You know, Run D.M.C., Grandmaster Flash, Melly Mel. You know, what's significant? Does, does hip hop music kind of sway the, the 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 mentality of um the population in brazil at all like what impact can it make on politics if any at all or how people are thinking or living man it totally changed you know uh, the perception of people from the slums and every ghetto people like if you if you talk to somebody who live in the slum back in the early 90s they would be kind of like you know like feeling bad about themselves mm-hmm. and and nowadays they're proud of it okay. you know it's like the hip, hip hop changed like the perception okay. you know like it's after that people's like i am from periferia yeah. i am from the slum i am from favela and you should be you know like um uh, jealousy of, of of what I have and you can't buy. Wow. Mm. Um, who are some of those voices in Brazil? The artists? Yeah. Man, the foundations are laid by Taiji DJ Yum, Hassanize MCs, Black Healing, Speed. Uh, there's a lot, a lot of really uh, important artists mm-hmm. that they are being, you know, like performing since the late '80s until now. Them, there's the the late Sabotage, who was one of those guys that were like opening, like you know, like minds everywhere because 
it's still like, a lot of the music that you you hear from he, from 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 here from yeah. the US sometimes it's not that easy to, you know for people to understand that they are the concepts because the lyrics people don't understand at all yeah. and, and this is crazy because we love hip hop so much by the rhythms by the styles and 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 that's why I'm faithful that american people can feel brazil you know because we've been listening to hip hop for 30 years and feeling it in in brazil without most people getting the lyrics so if uh you don't need to understand portuguese to feel what we're doing here in brazil you know? wow man and on that note mm -hmm. man i want to thank brazil for coming by this morning Don, yeah. thanks for having thanks us for having man us. thanks yeah, for having man. us bro. yeah we go down the line i want to have y'all back too man just appreciate just, it. let's revisit you know and yeah. then so i gotta do that work for you <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm serious. We got this documented okay. audio yeah, and visual. Okay. Chris yeah, Paul, yeah. thank you. Uh, Ladybug Mecca, thank you. Thank Continue you. success. Thank okay. you. Okay. And my Brazilian brethren, appreciate you, sir. Okay. Thank you very much. Deep A honor. Absolutely. Honor is mine. Uh it's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45. Kilo.